the business. Do I leave your weed page open? Um, yes. Okay. Actually, you don't have to. There's something to show you. Why are you trying to find off? Because I have a video. I can't make a video in the way. Are you listening? Damn. Yes, good morning. Um, I have a list of things that I keep forgetting to do that I should do. Number one, tell people to subscribe. So here's what you should do, right? You should subscribe right now to this video. If, even if it's the first time here, just subscribe to this video, right? And then at the end, if you don't like the video, just forget to unsubscribe. Yeah? Okay, good. I have a lot of questions. A lot of questions. So I'm going to start on Reddit. Yeah, so so nobody posted anything already. So I guess we go to Twitter. But that's a good I should put some of my hair. See the production value has gone up. I'm like makeup, <laughs> makeup artist now. Hair, hair and makeup. You look cute. <laughs> Is that good? I could see. I can't, I can't really see it. Most likely it's good if, if you really want to do it. On the 400, tap the 400 and move the arrow to 8. Thank you, thank you, my love. Thank you, my love. You're welcome. Okay. Um, it's, it's, it feels a little different doing it with you in the room. Right? Um, no, 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 it feels too bright like this and anyway I'm gonna ignore that I'm gonna ignore that by the way I put a lot of effort into my color correcting and by a lot of effort I mean I find like some other people's color correcting and I just throw it on top of mine and make minor changes to make it look somewhat decent so this is what it looks like when it's not color corrected this is what it looks like when it's color corrected even if it looks better when it's not color corrected, I need you to put in the comments that it is better when it is color corrected so that I could know that, you know, my efforts were not in vain, even though they were not really much of an effort. Is that grammatic grammatically correct? They were really not mu that much of an effort. Yes. Yes. I have my Google next to me. She knows everything. Everything in the whole world. You can ask her any question that she knows. Anyway, we're going to... To, to Twitter first, I was asked, how's the cat? So they want to know how Simba's doing. Oh God, he's sleeping so comfortably right now, covered up and everything, I don't really want to bother him. He's doing okay, I mean, every time he goes outside, he has to get wiped down or something, because he always comes, and comes in full of ash. But you can't really keep him in the house because he gets really mischievous and causes problems, destroys things. But he's good, he's, he's alive and well and just as carefree and egotistical as ever. Is he egotistical? He is pretty egotistical and self-indulged. But he loves, he loves, he loves me. He loves me very much. Hi Simba, like you see, he loves me very much. Say hi Simba. He woke from a nap, he's very good. Okay. You see, he's good. Mm. 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 He's good, the cat is good. Mm. This is so bright, you know I'm gonna ignore that. Hmm. Alright, so how's the cat? The cat is good. He's gonna get annoyed real quick. What do you miss the most pre-COVID and what do you hope will stick around post? I don't know. I, I would have traveled a lot more. <laughs> I would have traveled at least three or four times if it wasn't for COVID. So I definitely miss the ease of travel. For sure without a doubt number one um what do i hope will stick around uh places to wash hands outside the supermarket that'd be nice if they keep that have people you know providing hand sanitizer or have access to hand sanitizer all over the place i should they should keep that so people could continue with the proper hygiene thing favorite caribbean island and why this is this is an easy question St. Lucia, without a shadow of a doubt, it is not even close. I like when islands are very nature-oriented, right? But I also like a lot of variety of things, especially food-wise and so forth. You don't generally get both of them at the same time. But St. Lucia gives me both. 
So if I just want to be in nature for a while, hike a waterfall, go by a river, go by the beach or something, go picnic or go hiking, anything, you know? Anything nature related, I could do that. But if I want to go eat sushi, I mean, I'm going to see you in But if I want to go get some proper, proper Indian food or something, which I'm not really care about, but you know, like different varieties of food. Like all sorts of variety. Like I was, I was by Grozzly on a Friday night and people were just sending lobster by the side of the road. Like, who sells lobster by the side of the road? Like, who does that? Plus, I prefer the bus system because you know, jam up next to people like that so there's a lot of space. And then there's no rush to catch specific vans. And there's always like vans lined up in car streets to go exactly where you need to go. So many reasons, okay? So many reasons. It is beautiful. I think St. Vincent is more beautiful. Don't take it personally. I still prefer St. Lucia, but St. Vincent is a lot more beautiful, in my opinion. But St. Lucia is still beautiful nonetheless. Why he ain't just cook for us and talk about a book he loves? And the cooking, the cooking, the cooking I don't mind, right? But, and I'm gonna move over. If I talk about a book, it will be this book, right? This book right here, right? Are you sure you want me to make a video talking about this book? Like, read the name of it. Like, read. If you read in it, yeah? You want me to make a video about this book. Do you think you're ready for a video about this book? From me? Why are you laughing? You're not supposed to be in here laughing. I mean, I'm trying to have a serious conversation with my, with my people here and you're just laughing in the corner. It's probably wild because there's nothing, well obviously there's nothing there. I see the book. <laughs> oh, you know which book I'm talking about? Okay, yeah. But yeah. I mean, I would love to talk about this book though. That's a bit like it's, it was life changing. It's a lot of good advice. I think you should definitely read this. Definitely. So what do you think will happen in SVG over the next few years because of COVID, the volcano, the government? Oh, well, and the government. And do you think Vinci people are as friendly and genuine as they claim, as they claim to be? Claim. He made sure he corrected himself, okay? You see? He made his little typo and he corrected himself. Claim. Um, first question. Um, I... Have opinions, right? I do not see us bouncing back anytime soon. Not because of anything other than our leadership. Do you think in such people are spent friendly and genuine as they claim to be? Um. I think Vincent and people are very genuine. I think they I think they're very nice people. Like I, I say this a lot. Um based on the places I've traveled, I haven't met a place that's as, that has people as nice as Vincent. Like Vincent will help you if you need help. Like they will go, they may, they may not go out to the way. But they inconvenience themselves, even if they don't know you and like you, you get hurt somewhere in town and you need to get to the hospital. People who don't know you will just jump into action to get you there. I mean, they are nice, genuine people. They are people who aren't, obviously. But I mean, why focus on them, right? They're, they're not important. I hear the sun rays on the roof, it just sounds nice. Um, updates on Volcano. How's the recovery? What's the hardship experience? I, 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 I'm not the person to ask about updates on the Volcano. Like, it just erupted again this morning for the, what, 30th time? Yeah. I was in Barley on Sunday and while I was there, first of all, there was ash everywhere and ash got into my eyes and then my eyes were burning me for like days, like days. I was in, in pure agony. They were red, like burning red. It gave me a headache and everything. So please, if you're going out in the ash, wear some kind of eye protection. It is not worth it. I thought I was going to be blind forever. I thought this was it for me. I was going to die. I was wondering if I, if I had some other brain aneurysm or something that was slowly making me deteriorate in a painful, dreadful way. But it was, it was just ash. I'm sweating. Barley is in the yellow zone, um, I think. I think it's in the yellow zone, so it's not quite in the red zone. But like when it erupted, it was ash, as you, you could see the video. 
Yes, there was ash like all above our head, like it was crazy. But I think the wind took it out to sea, so we don't really have as much ash falling anymore. Like it's very, very little. So that's fortunate. Um, people are in their homes, a lot of water is coming in, people are being fed based on what I know. Um, I haven't heard any complaints as we, in regards to people getting food and water. So the the people who are donating money, it is helping. People sending water and food stuff and support is helping. People are being fed and everything. So continue to do that if you can. Shout out to Guadalupe. Shout out to Guadalupe and Saint Louis. First of all, okay, I have blue waters from Saint Lucia. Okay, all right. So shout out to blue waters from Saint Lucia. Yeah, yeah. And this, I don't know where the Guadalupe. I have water from Guadalupe. Who would have thought I'd be drinking water from Guadeloupe? That's wild. She got for the water from Guadeloupe. Yes, water from Guadeloupe. La Fort, La Fort, La Fort, La Fort, La Fort. I'm I done trying to, to see what it is. Yeah, from Guadeloupe. So I have water from St. Lucia and Guadeloupe. That's, that's, yeah. Ah, uh, from my good friend from St. Lucia. Um, I don't know if I should say what her name is. Say, say, when get to you, I go rich. I see, I can't even say it. Okay, when get to you, I go rich. And then she has E at the end with the question mark. And she's Lucia, so you know the E has... No, it's E. Yeah, but I do I say because I do a Lucia accent and it feels awkward to just say because it's not something I'm accustomed to say. But yeah, um, get to you, go get rich when... We start search drugs on ah. ah, I'm gonna ignore that question. Let's see. Ah, Kami. How has the transition been since living with my girlfriend? I I feel like you guys are the same person. We are not the same person. Okay? We are exact, exact, exact opposites. It is wild. Like to the point that I am tall and she is short like exact opposites so, i mean i'm not fat that's the only thing you think i big i think i skinny but anyway anyway average. You're like average size. yeah okay i always felt like i was skinny um what i mean okay we're both very intelligent people you know but she is smarter than me all right and better looking than me Who, 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 who would have thought that would have happened? <laughs> May end up with somebody better looking than me and smarter than me at the same time. That's the only way you won't be insufferable. The Lord knows what he's doing. <laughs> ah, that's true, you know, because I am very entertained. I am very, 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 very entertained. Um, how has the transition been? Um, honestly, any formal, any formal difficulties that I feel are from myself. As in, it would be me overthinking and trying to do too much, you know, as in putting a little bit too much pressure on myself to ensure that she's doing well. And she, she would just be like, yeah, but I'm, I'm good. You're doing a very good job. But then back of my mind, I'm like, yo, I need to do this. I need to do that. So with her being here, the only difficulty that I have faced, really difficult is that I put on myself. We don't really have any reason to fight about anything. Look, okay, okay. You see you with the milk box, right? You you lift up the milk box and there's a line for you to cut it. So I follow the instructions and cut the line. Listen, I follow the instructions and she's trying to tell me that I did it wrong. I didn't do it wrong. I just didn't do it your way, okay? The mail comes out. It was so hard. It was unnecessarily hard. If you had just cut no, it, it wasn't. horizontally, it would have been sealed. You yeah. could seal it back. It what do you mean you could see? You literally put it down and it sealed back it when, you, when you cut the thing. Back like that. You literally just bent it back over. Out, and when you're pouring it out, it messes up the whole box. It messes up the cone. How are you pouring out the mail? Yeah, we don't have any reason to fight about anything, okay? So, um, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's been, 
easy? <laughs> it's just I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's just been it's been it's been easy. Oh, that's a long video. Oh. Alright, you know what I'm gonna try to do YouTube videos, YouTube comments. Young Danger Official, if you had to choose between the power to freeze time or teleportation, what would you choose? I know I would choose teleportation. Because I don't want to mess with time. Messing with time feels really, really dangerous. Like what if I freeze time and slip and bust my head and just fall down? You know? And like it's, time is just frozen forever. I mean, that's probably unlikely. But I don't know. What, what, if, what if I live to be 82 and I'm on my dying breath and I'm like, I just don't want to die and just freeze time. Or would, would, my, would my disease continue to... Would I continue to age if I freeze time? What if every time I freeze time, I continue to age? Um, if I could freeze time and not age, I don't want the power because I would just do that. <laughs> I would experience everything while everybody's frozen. Or you could freeze your own time and be immortal while the world is so literally your body is just in this frozen state like i'll be like immortality exactly and like um what's his name from the anime that has like un oh, um infinity the power of infinity ah oh, yeah ne fureraren sunzen de tomaru kore ga mugen so if I could put time, like an infinite amount of time between me and people, so so they can infinite, thank you. So if they try to shoot me or something, the boy would just say, poop, oh, it's not gonna make it. Boku ni chikazuku hodo osoku na ten no. That's what stopping time is, essentially. Yeah, but if you stop time and then travel to Barbados and then re and then set time back. Let's set time afloat again. That is teleportation. And you have any hair was a bad idea because we were just prattle on about random things for, for way too long. Okay. <laughs> so about this ADHD. Is it self-diagnosed or you saw a professional in the past during childhood or recently in adulthood? If it's self-diagnosed, are you willing to see someone and possibly get prescribed something to help you focus on complete tasks? I know you're a rebel and all, but yeah. Sorry for my loaded and boring question. No, it's a good question. Eh? Um, I'm, I haven't been diagnosed, right? I am willing to go to a professional and get diagnosed. I'm just not sure how I feel about the pill. Because that just feels unfair. <laughs> Because I spent so much of my life thinking, thinking, figuring out how to do so many things that if I actually get something that gets me to do things, accomplish things, I just feel like that wouldn't be fair because I'll just be unstoppable. Why is that not fair? I could just dominate the world. Well, maybe not the world, definitely say Um, I'll try it. I'll try the pill. I'll see what it feels like, I'll see the side effects and I'll see if I want to continue. But yeah, I'm willing to get like professionally diagnosed. Although I, I don't have any doubts. Like I don't have any doubts. Like nothing has made sense like this to me ever in my life. No matter how many people have listened to, how many people have given me advice, people who are professionals in the field, very intelligent people have come up with all different solutions. For me to get active and get things done, I've tried everything down to brute forcing myself to do tasks and nothing has worked. And ADHD just explains it perfectly. You know? Yeah. I know that is usually diagnosed in children. I believe that there are kids who struggle with it here in Vinci. Yes, definitely. Parents and even teachers who aren't aware of it might lack the patience and tools needed to deal with them and they'll and and they'll call them lazy and tell them how, it, how they're just wasting time and blah blah blah, yes. And just write them off as mischievous or hyper. You see, the mischievous and hyper thing is not necessarily... A, like, it does happen, but I, it's not the main thing with ADHD. And 
children, especially boys, mm-hmm. generally is there. It's yeah. hyperactivity yeah. with children. And that was one of the ways that I was um, diagnosed. Yeah, and a lot of it though, like in the teenage years and so forth, they, they would tend to be called lazy. Because it's like, why are you not doing anything? It's like, we, just, we, just, we can't. It's like, we try it. Like, it's not like we don't try and we know we're supposed to do it. And it's always in the back of your mind, like, I need to do this. So why are you not doing it? Just do it. So like, it's going to lead to anxiety. It's going to lead to anger. And then you realize you're not accomplishing things. It leads to depression. And then you just spiral out of control if you're not careful. So I mean, I've been fortunate not to keep following that path because I have gone down that path many times I just never went too far fortunately because it, it could take you to a dark place especially for people who think as much as I do. do do ADHD people generally just think a lot yes yeah you could think your way into anything you know if you're not careful anyway we are uh, which can lead to neglect or even mishandling or unnecessary abuse so they can settle themselves yes yeah, that is a very good comment. That's a very good comment and question. Thank you for that, Nakri. Nakri, dog. I like Nakri. We will hang out with her one day. Uh, Nikki Grace Vlogs. I don't have a Reddit. Sorry. Get a Reddit. Okay? Get a Reddit. Oh, the, the, boy, the boy with the red shirt. Well, get a Reddit, then. Yeah, okay. I'm not going to do that. Wait, did anybody send me an intro? Check my email. Primary. No! I do not feel loved. Okay, I can't, I can't just try to get them into sending me stuff. I don't think it'll work. Audrey, Audrey, uh, I need to drink Audrey some coffee. Audrey, Audrey, Because each of these questions, except. Except the last one. How has finding your person changed you from Audrey? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Woo! Okay, first of all, there were some deep, dark places that, that, that I was in mentally that I did not even realize, okay? There was some anger and bitterness in my heart that I didn't know existed because I kind of just pushed the memories to the back and she being the intelligent person that she is and me loving to talk both of us having conversations and her digging deep into my soul i realized that i have a lot of un really re- unresolved you see she just knows exactly what i need to say she just knows anyway let me stop gassing up like that unresolved issues and anger in my life and i have dealt with 95% of what I know that I have, right? 95%. Like, she, she makes me want to dress better. She just wants me to look better and just try to be a better person. Like, I always used to try to be a better person, right? But like, she makes it feel worth it, you know? And she listens so well and she treats me so well and I feel loved. I feel so loved. I feel like everybody should feel loved. Like I am nicer to people. I care more about people now because she just, I don't know dog. It just, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. But yes, I cannot find extra dramatic words to explain how I feel. So yeah, she has made me a better person in every conceivable way. What do you like the most about yourself? Oh, my mind. Without a doubt, my mind. I love my mind. I love my mind. I love my mind. I love my mind. You see, the thing about ADHD is that they say you get bored a lot, right? I don't really get bored. Because, like, if I'm sitting there with no phone, no entertainment, or nothing, my mind will just take me somewhere. Like for like the next 10 minutes, I would just walk up and down the place aimlessly. But in my mind, I am playing in the NBA Finals. <laughs> it's not that we get bored, we just can't focus on what they want us to focus Right, so because we can't focus, 
on what they want us to focus on and they try to force us to be in that situation, then that is when we'll get bored. But then when we get bored, our mind is just like, you know what, I need entertainment and I just create it for herself. So yeah, I, I love it. I love it. I mean, I can't get things done, but I, it's still always entertaining. You know, that's why I like conspiracy theories, but I'm not getting into that. We had four minutes. What is your biggest character defect? My biggest one. I am a selfish person. Like I care about people and I want to help people, but I... am I selfish or is it just because my ADHD doesn't let me? I don't know, but I believe that I'm a selfish, I am a selfish person. I'm selfish and I'm stubborn and I don't listen to people sometimes even when it's for my own good. That's very good. Yeah. Those are the basic ones. Ah, what's the biggest one though? Okay, okay, okay. What is the dopest thing about Audrey? Her mind. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, Audrey, Audrey has been helping me a lot. And I think she knows what she's doing. I think she does it intentionally. But she does things to help me. Just like a normal... Yeah, okay. So they called... I hit the maximum recording time. So it stopped. Now the card was full. So it stopped. So I put another card in and I'm going to finish talking about Audrey. What was I saying about Audrey? Her mind and she's been helping you. Yes, like casual conversation, you know, she just like casual conversation and ask questions and then ask more questions and then next thing you next thing you realize you you you're learning something or or you, you picked up on something you should be doing better and so forth. She's she she's, genuinely cares. She does. She I so kind dog. I can't, I so, so, you know what? We're making Audrey feel too good right now, man. She deserves <laughs> it. Making, no. No, no, we're, we're making Audrey feel too she good right now, okay? She deserves it. We're, no, she's feeling too good, okay? Alright. So, yeah, these are the questions. I did not mention the type of coffee because it's the same one as yesterday, the Nes Nescafe Gold. That I, that I stole. So yeah. I really hope I did that justice. It's probably about at least half an hour of footage to edit. I want to get it down to 15 minutes. That's unlikely. You know what? I just gonna make it as long as it wants. If you want to watch, you could watch. If you don't want to watch, I mean, it's the end of the video. <laughs> That's a lot of videos. I know, you but I don't. I know, but I don't watch his pump all content. Anyway, 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 anyway. anyway. Uh, what else do I need to do? I'm supposed to talk about how flawless my skin is, but I can talk about that another time. I say like, I say like a lot. I do say like a lot. I I found this interesting video on on, on Twitter, right? So I'll put it in the description. You should go check it out. It is, it is, it is, it is disturbing. Alright, we're done. There's a thing in my hair that Audrey put in that, that keeps coming out and every time I edit the video I see it. I'm like, oh there it is, I should probably do some this little thing. I should probably do something about that, but I just never do because I forget. But yeah, the video is over. Um, yeah. Um, I hope you have a good day today because this hopefully will be up at 8 a.m. I hope you have a good day today. Um, special thanks to my Patreon supporters. If you would like to support me on Patreon, it's a dollar a month. Uh, most other people give rewards for joining Patreon. I do not. I'm very sorry. I, I tried a couple of times, but I guess this is the reward. Your name will be at the end of the video. I could do that. I could do that on a regular basis. You you join Patreon, your name will be end, at the end of the video. You know what? Let's make it even better. Because one of the people here, you see the IG right there next to it? That's his Instagram. So go check out his Instagram. He designs shoes. So go check them out. And Norris. I'm not, oh, Norris. Oh. Okay. Norris Instagram is right there. Check out Norris. He's a photographer. If you want me to put your Instagram so that you could get... 
followers, I gave people what to follow you. Then you can you can go ahead and put that there. So you could put the name and just say your IG account that you want attached to it, and there you go. I put your IG account. Put your name and your IG. I oh, know that's that's a lot of information. Yeah. And it's better to do it soon, you know. Because one day, one day I might be a massive YouTuber and there'll be like 200 names and you'll be like, oh, I should have done it earlier when, when there was just one, you know. You could have been there forever in these videos. This is history. You can't even manipulate people. I can't. I can't. I just, I just, I don't have it in me. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Bye. So you are in my favor? Mm -hmm. Yeah, turn, turn out. Stop, stop, stop it. Thank you, because over there, Anna Thank you. Mm -hmm.